Dependability. And we talked yesterday about ability. The Bobby Knight quote that ability is important, but dependability is critical. Would you be a better you if you had the quality and developed the quality of being dependable? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. If there's one quality that you would really like to have in a son, a daughter, uh, a player, a friend, is someone that's dependable. The second story this week is the retired carpenter. And we've had this story before in, uh, in another one as far as conscientious, but this is about being dependable. An elderly carpenter was ready to retire. He told his employer, a contractor of his plans to leave the house building business and live a more leisurely life, enjoying his extended family with his wife. He would miss the paychecks, but he needed to retire. They could get by. He had disciplined himself to put back enough to have a quality retirement. That discipline, remember that quality of discipline, putting back enough so you can retire? The contractor was sorry to see his good worker go and ask him if he could build just one more house. The carpenter said yes, but in time it was easy to see that his heart was not in his work. He resorted to shoddy workmanship and used inferior materials. It was an unfortunate way to end a dedicated career. There's that dedicated. We talked about with Mandela and Kim Loomis uh, last week. When the carpenter finished the work, the employer came to inspect the house. He handed the front door key to the carpenter. This is your house. This is my gift to you. The carpenter was shocked. What a shame. If he had only known he was building his own house, he would have been much more dependable with what he had done. Are you building your own life? Sure you are. Are you dependable in the way you're building it and what you're doing and how you're going about doing it? Dependability, critical. 